you guys are here in Kath. You've contacted Benny. Come down. And you were able to actually acquire a portal so that you, you could just get down here pretty quickly. And so there weren't any really necessarily travels going on. But the first thing that you'll end up seeing is that Southern Colossus. This massive uh, remains of a creature of gigantic proportions. This extended skeleton, you know, weaves through the jungles of Kath and out into the desert and back again over and over as it goes on for miles and miles and miles. And so you're overlooking this this colossus and you just kind of are in awe of the sheer size of the thing. Um, can only imagine what kind, what this kind of was like actually being alive and moving through this landscape. Um, but for now though, in recent times, it's, it's mostly a point of interest. Uh, the head of the Colossus is a pyramid that most have attempted to, to explore, but if anybody has ever gone in and out, we don't know about them because most people just don't come back when they explore that, the head of the Southern Colossus. But most people head there when they don't, what they don't realize is the rest of the Colossus, the miles of stretches and things was a point that was interesting and many things can be found. One of which Benny describes, our little half uh, small folk friend, is a new tomb that opened up beneath one of the vertebrae that he found. So you guys have gathered together to learn more about the Colossus but also he's willing to give you a cut of the treasure or whatever he finds <coughs> you find in that space. And so... Um, awesome. All right. So, are we right now? Are we in the jungles of Cath, or is this a, a video, a picture? Are we in the deserts of Cath? So, the Southern Colossus is right on the edge. So, kind of. Okay. If you look to your back, you'll see the jungles stretching out. Uh, if you look in front of you, you'll see the desert stretching out. And so, currently, okay. you're kind of leaving the jungle and heading into just the the desert a little bit not so much that you're like deep into it but when you uh, suffered desert like experience mm -hmm. yeah, versus the jungle all right cool yep. okay so diving down into the into the tomb it's or the entrance of the tomb. You kind of get up to the Colossus, and you can see that the bones and the ribs and the vertebrae are all like hundreds and hundreds of feet above you. Like they're they're just massively these these fossilized structures. And so beneath one of the vertebrae is this entrance that that was kind of opened up. And Benny provided everybody these riding lizards that can get across the desert a lot easier than you know horses sometimes even camels and so you've you've gotten into this space here and are looking at the entrance of our tomb oh awesome so can i get everybody to give me a quick d20 roll for their initiative and we'll start kind of understand you know like going through what is everyone's reactions to this so it looks like an room we've got snark we've got Elin and Balo. All right, so let's we'll start with uh, Nyram. You're here. You're in Kath. The heat is upon you. The sun is beating down. Um, how are you feeling about going into this tomb? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it, actually, because being a earth elemental druid and going down into the earth... Um, I feel pretty comfortable. I had just gone on an adventure into the deserts of Scar, and that also made me feel very empowered, just being, you know, surrounded by the earth. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good about it, actually. Uh, pretty excited to find out the find out more information about the history of Earth and the secrets that it holds. So I'm pretty pumped, actually. Sweet. Okay. 
All right, so let's move your token where you feel you are, what you're, what you're doing as you as you prep to enter um, in. All right. Uh, can I? Should I go ahead and make my roll to armor up? If get that's, myself. If that's what you want to do. Yeah. All right. So for those of you who haven't played with, me, I wear my elemental beast, basically like a set of power armor. Um, and so that's what he's going to do. He's going to stand there and basically draw stone and earth from the ground into a golem suit, which he calls an articor. Um, so right. that plus five and it's an elemental roll. So it's easy. Success, barely. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, so you've got that, and we're treating we're pretty much treating that as just a temporary ten hit points, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Unless I specify that I'm making a a different beast, then yeah. Okay. Um, but yes, it's basically um, an extra ten hit points, and then any attacks that I do are just elemental beast attacks. So. Okay. Um. Yeah, and so my size grows. I'm no longer. A four and a half foot L or a dwarf. Now I'm, you know, with my golem suit and everything, I'm probably seven and a half to eight feet tall. So, so hopefully that doesn't come back to me, but that's what my character would do. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> nice. Okay. Excellent. So let's move on to Snark. Again, your friend has just golemed up as he likes to say and you have your uh, your friends all standing there that you've just hopped off your, your riding lizard Benny's kind of getting ready to go in with his notes in his pack how do, you, right. how, how do you prepare to go in alright well Snark has witnessed the spectacle of Aniram's armor and it uh, heartens him because he has seen it in action before uh, he uh Hops off his riding lizard, which is the uh, one at the penultimate stack there with the uh, Appaloosa spots on uh, its hindquarters, which he called Spot because he calls all his mouth Spot. <laughs> and he's feeling pretty good. He had a good night's sleep. He's feeling good about the company. He knows all of these are uh, good compatriots to have. It's a interesting task. And... Uh, he takes a moment to uh, look at the desert sun and appreciate it one more time before they dive down in and puts a charge in his memory ring. Nice. Bazinga. Very nice. <laughs> okay. Elon. So, uh, my I know my people... The, Hello elves are using the Colossus as a, a, a war weapon, and so I'm very interested to see what we managed to find in this, uh, this cave. Um, I cautiously uh, follow my, uh, my fellow adventurers. Uh, is, it, is it safe to assume that this is a sandy area now? Yes. So I, I follow and I very intentionally I look to their um, footsteps in the sand and I follow the same footsteps and follow just behind them. Mm. Okay. Very cautious. Perfect. And then, excellent. Finally, Balo. Nice. Uh, Bilo's feeling good. This is kind of what he lives for. Um, treasure seeking, adventure, glory. This is great. Um, after seeing, is it Aniram? Is that how you pronounce it? Aniram. Uh, Aniram, thank you. After seeing him uh, suit up, uh, he's very impressed. He kind of looks at his, his gear that he has. He straps his arm shield on a little tighter. And he just goes... Uh, Dang, I got to get me one of those. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I'm excited, let's hop in. And he wants to get up right next to 
dwarf. He thinks that's a pretty good safe position. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to go. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Um, Benny looks around and he's <clears throat> he's a little fidgety. He's kind of just in general uh, quite. You can tell there's a reason why he didn't go in here by himself. Yeah, you, you may secretly kind of think to him, think, hmm, this guy has the air of a scaredy cat, I guess, if you want to call him that. But mostly he's a little emboldened now that he's got four pretty powerful adventurers with him he's feeling confident so he's got his notes he's got his pack and he he looks to you guys and says you know i, I guess it's it's ready to, to go in i i hope yeah hope nothing happens and then he kind of guides guides you into into the, the tomb itself and so you guys move in to the inner entrance can I do one? Can I do one thing before we head out? Is there any like old petrified? I mean, I guess we could maybe do it in the other scene. Is there any old like? I would like to do a wood shape roll. If that's okay. Um, we will use that as your action on this next round. Okay, excellent. Okay. <clears throat> So the tomb doesn't waste any time necessarily kind of getting into the architecture of it. They don't deal with long winding hallways or anything. You essentially kind of enter in and you can see that it was rec it was sealed at one point and has been recently unsealed. You don't know if this was necessarily Benny's doing or he may have helped it along or there was some shifting of the earth that, that revealed this space. But you get in and it just opens up into this magnificent kind of chamber uh, some of the pathways are broken down you can see that there's a little bit of a pit below uh, it's kind of the, everything's hanging up on these these stone columns but this, the ceiling above you is is wide open and you see the the again another entrance leading in with these magnificently carved columns and and statues uh, the vibrancy of the colors may not be the best, but for how old they are, you're, you're pretty impressed with the handiwork. And so what you have before you is you're on this platform. There's some broken steps that you'll need to make a jump across for. And then uh, we can continue on with any other things that you would like to do. So let's again start with an Iram. You wanted to do some wood shaping. There's not a yeah. lot. Yeah. So depending on what you're trying to wood shape would make um, it. I was going to try to wood shape. I was like maybe like a piece of like petrified beam. Just wood shape a, a, a broad sword. What is the the two hand, the big two handed sword? Yeah, yeah. It's in the base of yeah, the yeah, the the, that, the the two handed, the great sword. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. the great sword. Um, would shape a great sword, but in so in the hands of my gold suit, it just looks like a normal sword. Mm -hmm. But for a normal person, it would be a great sword. Okay, so, would shape a great right. sword. So I find kind of walking through. I it looks it looks. Kind of like a pet, like almost like a stone, but it's a petrified piece of wood. And yeah. I go and grab this timber in my suit, and yeah, give me, give me a roll for it. All right, and that should be a success. Okay, uh, the the one thing that I'll say about this wooden sword is that being petrified or, or just old, really, more because petrified would be like buried and fossilized. This is just old wood um, okay it, it will deal this great sword will essentially deal weapon effort um but it's got essentially a, only a few good hits okay um, so we're just going to use a d4 okay and right now you, it's at a one if you roll a hit with it and then you're going to roll a d4 if you roll a one it breaks and it's just gone 
and then we'll add okay. it, we'll make it a two and then if you roll a one or a two it will break if not it hits three four you know three okay. all the way to four and then essentially so you've got a maximum of four hits with this thing okay especially in the hands of a tough golem like that that wood isn't going to hold up okay okay perfect uh let's go to snark oh and did you want to move anywhere in iron um no i was going what i was gonna do was wait till everybody's kind of done because i was gonna maybe use elemental earth on my next turn and either like jump everybody across like i did my last adventure mm. or build something for the group to come across but got it well there is a timer of one so keep that in mind okay okay Oh, okay. Um, then, you no, know, I'm gonna even even with the timer, I'm gonna wait for the group. Okay. okay. All right, that brings us to Snark. Geronimo. <laughs> Plus three, four for my decks. Very nice. Yep, you. You make the hop. That let me clear it. Yep, you clear it. So as a as a goblin, the size uh you know of the gap seems much larger for you. So you have a little bit more of a hang time as you sail across, <laughs> but you do land successfully. And under your heel, some of the stones kind of crumble, and you you watch them fall down in the pit. And it's like, okay. And if I have any movement left i'll clear a little landing space for any of my friends so that i'm not putting my 45 pounds on uh, that's perfect on right where they're going to try to land okay perfect okay excellent and then that's a movement so uh, that, that's all movement so if i can i'll just put another charge in my ring if i can sure bazinga Thank you. Yep. Okay. Elon. So we have this uh this to jump over, right? That's the that's what's before us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh and this would be a Dex? Yes it would. Okay, so <laughs> um, I have a couple questions about it. Okay. <laughs> um, so my um, I'm wearing I'm wearing heavy plate armor, which notes that all dex rolls are hard. Yep. Um, which, if I'm remembering right, is does hard mean it's like a plus three to the target? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so my dex is plus three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so basically, that would just straight cancel roll. out, right? So yeah. it would just be... Okay. Yeah, basically a straight roll. Okay, so gotcha. So unmodified d20. Um, so um, what I'd like to do is... Uh, I have an adventures pack, which I believe has a rope in it. Okay. So I was hoping I could toss the rope to... Um, um, snark, and that might basically aid aid me in case. Yeah. With yeah. My, yeah. Is that something we? Yeah, we we can do that. Um, that's another dex roll, right? Yeah, it's still uh still it's like well we won't have to roll for the just tossing you the rope because I mean that that feels like that can be just, just happen. Um, but okay. let's 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 roll. Just uh, it's still gonna be the straight twelve. Mm hmm But the rope is if okay. you, if you fail, it's definitely gonna help you there. He's okay. Gotcha. So um Snark, are you okay with that if I toss you the rope? Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I can even loop it around that cat. Perfect. Okay. So um are we good with that? I'll just yeah. roll then. Yeah. It's looped around the cat. Okay. Yeah. Boom, there it is. Easy, okay. easy. Brilliant. 
So I jump jump across and uh Yep, you jump across easy. Again, you you feel the crumbling especially with your weight. You jump, you land, like you see the cracks on the, on it form. And so you're not quite sure, you know, how, you know how long that's gonna gonna last, but mm. both, both of you look going all right. <laughs> okay. With and the, uh, with I the go rope, up to, with yeah. the rope trailing, will it help the guys still to come? Um, again, it will help. It will help if anybody falls. Mm -hmm. Got it. Understood. Yeah. yeah. I'm good. Okay. Good preventive measures. Perfect. Uh, Balo. Okay, Balo is gonna be very confident that his uh, comrades made it across no problem. He's gonna yell out, little legs don't fail me now, and he's just gonna go for <laughs> it. And hopefully along that line of ropes, <laughs> the rope there, just in case. Okay. I'll give it a shot here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Plus a four, so not really helpful. <laughs> okay. Thank so, you. so you you jump, but the stones crumble beneath your feet, and you are now hanging by a hand. Oof. You're not you're not falling. You're just hanging by a hand. And what what that means is. <laughs> on your turn or someone else's turn like you there needs to be a successful strength check to pull yourself up whether that's from somebody else or you um spending an action strength rolling to get it up if you fail that roll which will be easy because of the rope uh okay. you fall to um holding on by a finger which means you're essentially you have a dying timer and you are unable to help yourself. Someone has to come in and and pull you up with a hard strength check. Okay. <laughs> but it will cross that bridge if we get there because it's the likelihood yeah. of you guys of holding onto your finger um, is slim. Bala just says, not again. <laughs> <laughs> As he dangles there. <laughs> Hold on, man. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That brings us to Balo. Benny is gonna run over, and he's he's looks at you for for a moment, and he's not sure if uh if he should jump or not. So, in your guys' opinion, are you guys gonna tell Benny to jump, or are you gonna tell him to stay where he's at? Jump. Little feet make light work. <laughs> Just okay. go for it. <laughs> All right, he's gonna he's gonna jump. Woo! <laughs> he with his small small folk finger jump. He jumps and completely just makes it up to the edge and whoo! Man. Okay. Um, but as he. As he lands, um, you see that Benny kind of like, you know, nonchalant, just like, he's not really like worried about, about an Irem too much. You can see that he's more interested in exploring. And so he, he starts, let, he's letting you guys worry about him. And he starts kind of like wandering around and starts picking at some of the jewels on the wall. And as he does, some of them start to move. And a handful of these uh, scurrying little embedded crabs that were hard uh, case pop out. Uh, okay, we'll roll a three, and there will they will be appearing for three rounds. Okay. But that just brings us to back to Aniram. 
Okay. <clears throat> Balu or Balu is hanging from the rope. How hey, yeah. far? How far of the chasm is it from where I am to where he is? So it's probably maybe, you know, a five to seven foot jump. Okay. It's, it's enough that any average person, uh, maybe five is too too much as it is, you know, but it's enough that you, yeah. you have to actually hop over it, you know, with some effort, but not enough that it's like, oh, this is like superhuman to jump. Yeah. Okay. I With seeing Balo, Balo there, I'm going to go stand at the edge. And I am going to do elemental earth and right at the at the chasm and basically try to pull a slab of earth from from my side of the chasm to and slide it out underneath Balo so that he can kind of stand on it. Okay. To get. I will I will say this. If if you fail where the shifting of the stone and everything is gonna be a risk mm. and it may drop Balo straight to hanging by a finger. Oh, okay. All right. I think will be okay. Oh shit! Nope, I'm not okay. okay. So, like, the slab was was supposed to basically be underneath Balo so that he could land on it or set his feet down, but that yep. did not work. It did not work. So you you tried to manipulate the earth, and the crumbling structure of it shook with your efforts. And so Balo, I need you to give me. You can either roll the binary die or the d6. If it's a skull or a one two three, depending on what die, you fall to hanging on by a finger. If it's four five six or a blank, you are hanging on by a hand. Okay, let's roll the the skull dice here. <laughs> Haven't got to do that before. Come on. Oh! oh. No. Okay. Right. Can I make my... Alright, so I just did my action. Can I make my move and jump over to the that side of where the rope is? Uh, Sure. Okay. So it's a dex roll? It is a dex roll. Alright, so it's just a straight 20 for me. Oh crap, I'm dead too. Okay, you are also hanging on by a hand. <laughs> And because you're in your golem suit, yeah, you'll have you you know you'll have an easy strength pulling up. But if anybody okay. tries to help you, it will be hard. Okay. Holy smokes! I'm also going to roll a timer of one, and that is how long this bridge is going to last with both of you hanging on. <laughs> Okay. Help! 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 <laughs> so basically, we've got two, two, two dwarves just hanging from this broken bridge. <laughs> yep, and go. and one of them is covered in pounds and pounds of stone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bala went from very hopeful to very worried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That brings us to Snark. You have two. Your two dwarven friends are are dangling there. You can see the cracks in the stone forming. You know that your time is limited. And you hear the scuttling of these crab things behind you as Benny screams. What okay. are you going to do? Uh, hanging on to that uh, rope that's around the cat, so I at least have my own safety harness in case I fail. Uh, I r run down to the man hanging by a finger. Follow. Yep. And I'm going to roll strength to pull him up. Okay. Um, I get to add eight Wait. with my and ring. A memory so ring. That's yes. dead on. Perfect. So you're able to successfully, you know, you try and then you have to like whisper to your memory ring to like embolden your muscles. And you're able to pull this dwarf up onto the stone and then to shuffle back away from away from the bridge very cool that's my turn okay you can see that Bob is physically sweating <laughs> <laughs> this is why but very thankful this is why Aragon <laughs> threw Gimli in the Lord of the Rings <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> that brings us to Elin. So again, your your one dwarven friend is safe. The stone is crumbling. Crabs behind you, and this hanging golem is hanging on borrowed time as this stone structure seems ready to break. Uh, you said it would it be a strength check to pull him up? It's a hard it's a it hard strength hard. check because of his golem suit. If he dropped the golem suit, I'm not saying you have to, uh, it would drop it down back to twelve. But um I will go ahead and I will shed the golem suit. Okay. So as uh, as I'm hanging there, all of the uh, all of the rock that I've been wearing falls away, and you now you just see like a dwarf holding on. And I, <laughs> I even like I let go of my wood shaped sword. I just drop everything. The only thing you see is my me hanging on, and I'm carrying the my shields and stuff that are like. Mm weirdly attached to my body and that's all that I'm holding so the golem suit is gone and now it's just the dwarf hanging there with all his gear and you hear the stones and the wooden sword fall for a moment until you hear a crash as, as it eventually hits the floor okay so now it's just a normal 12 strength roll okay and um He's hanging on by a hand, is that right? Yes. But the stone bridge is about to break. Um he can't grab on to he, he can't grab onto the rope, right? Uh he like, could. I, I would need to So I guess I guess you're right, it would be easy that time, now that he's dropped the uh he's dropped the thing. So it would be a, you just need to roll a nine strength check. Okay. And can I if he's able to grab the rope, mm -hmm. can I pull from where I am, like by the, rather than getting on the bridge itself? Yeah, sure. Okay, so yeah, that's so that yeah, grab the rope. I'm gonna pull All right. you. All right, I kind of reach over with my short dwarven arms and I grab on, grab onto the rope and trust with all my strength and let go of the other side and just basically just start swinging from the rope. <laughs> Okay. And the roll. It is a plus two. So oh, that'd be a nine. Very nice. You you struggle for a moment <laughs> as he as he lets his weight fully well uh, onto the rope, but you you catch purchase on a stone on the lip of a stone, and you're able to haul him up and have him join you as the stone bridge starts to crumble. So. Um, nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna say for for rescuing everybody, everybody gets a hero coin. Ooh, sweet. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Nice. Now before the stone bridge does finally crumble, Balo, you have a chance. Do you want to go back over to the other side? Or do you want to do something else? Sorry, what was that? I said you have one, one. Yeah, the stone bridge is about to crumbling. I was just wondering if there was any part of you that wants to go back to the other side uh, before it crumbles, or do you want to do something else? I'm just teasing. <laughs> oh, I'm like, oh uh, no. <laughs> <It's a hard> <laughs> no. <laughs> the the fear in my eyes right there. <laughs> oh. Well, you do still have the crabs to deal with, and you do have a move and an action, so you're welcome to do whatever you'd like. I'm, uh, I'm assuming, are they coming at us aggressively? <laughs> um, they. It, if if you were asking Benny, they were. You would say that they are, and they definitely are like approaching. I'm. I'm thinking to myself, they're not quite as terrifying as the scarabs in the mummy, but you don't want them on you. Yes. Okay. But, all right. I'm going to um, just level the crossbow and take a shot with a bolt here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Plus four is 12, so just made it. Very nice. Okay, you, t you kill this one. 
Nice. All right. Perfect. And did you want to move anywhere? Um, I think I'm just going to stay where I'm at. Okay. See what the group does here. Okay, so as you as you watch, the stone behind you crumbles down, and again, you hear the loud crashing as it hits the floor. The target for this particular room is going to jump to 15, so when, on the return, that gap is much wider and will be much more difficult to cross. Mm. Uh, additionally, what we have here is one more... Um, one more set of of these crab-like creatures popping out of the stones. The ruckus and the rumbling of the stones are awakening them. So you've got another set um, kind of popping out of, the, out of the thing. They're not directly in your way, but they're there. Uh, and they'll be here. Another one will appear next round. And so, but you do have a clear path into the the next area of the tomb. So, Aniram... What do you do? Um, I look to the group and I'm like, the earth here must be cursed. We need to find, get to the bottom of this. And I looked around and I asked them uh, to move on or to fight to get the consensus of what we're wanting to do to protect ourselves from these scarabs or get further into the tomb. So if anybody has a suggestion, I'm down to hear him scream it at me in the ruckus of of what we just went through. Squash um, those bugs. Squash them? Alright. Well, okay. So I am going to go over to or be where those bugs are. And I'm mm -hmm. going to try and See if I can basically use elemental earth to just like crush them with some rocks from from the the tomb face. Basically, okay. earthbender okay. launch some some stuff. Okay. Next, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the metal strip, the metal strips from my mender's kit uh, as like little projectile range weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and kind of like launch them at the things, kind of metal bender avatar. Okay. As a reminder, the target is 15, but that doesn't matter. That roll was nice. great. Okay. Well done. Well done. Nice. And then deal Pro effort. Those. It doesn't really All matter, right. but... Do I need to roll my damage? If you want to see how well you do it, you kill them. Okay. But... Then... Yeah, I mean, if... I don't... If, if I just kill him i don't need to worry about the roll yeah. of the damage because sure. i i do get i do boost it did basically they these, these the metal shards is like or the metal strapping hits it and just it explodes because i have that liberal arcano that basically nice. turns anything over a 15 into a crit so nice okay just shatters that scarab okay all right that brings us snark all right. While the getting is good, Snark looks back at the uh, collapsing stones of the bridge, and then he looks forward at the open tomb door. He says, "Ah, well, we'll cross this bridge when we come back to it." Geronimo, <laughs> and, then he, and then he is going to head for the tomb door, uh, enter in, and put a charge in his ring if he can. Sure. Better than nothing. That's my turn. Okay. All right. Elon. After we've uh, just dealt with those scarabs, I walk up to uh, Benny. He, you said he's a he's a halfling, right? So I would, yeah. I would tower over him. Uh huh. Yeah. So I go over to Benny and I say, "Stop touching things." Or you'll regret it. But 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 we're here to gather treasure. Like how how was I supposed to know that those things were <laughs> were alive? They were shiny. They were jeweled. Like what living things jeweled? 
<laughs> well, now that we know, don't touch anything. <laughs> okay, okay. And, and then he, I he like looks looks to his paper. He's like nine per, nine percent of the findings for the elf. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you're heading in as well? Yeah, I'll follow uh, Snark. Perfect. All right, Balo. You're standing there looking down at the pit that you narrowly did not fall into. He takes a moment, um, just kind of reliving past similar events. <laughs> <laughs> kind of shakes it off. Then he also makes his way with the group towards the opening. Okay. I think he just wants to kind of keep going and put this behind him. <laughs> All right, perfect. Okay, we're going to move into the next room. Aniram, you're going to move move in as well. But yep. We're, we're going to re-roll initiative as you've now entered the tomb proper. So everybody give me a new roll. And I think the only... It just throws Snark to the back, which is weird because he entered the tomb first. Very <laughs> dangerous. You go first. <laughs> All right. So as you guys enter into this tomb, um, again the the cat the the uh, the tomb itself kind of closes in, and you're now into this uh, central hallway. And it narrows down, but you can see the intricacy of the carving has increased. There's skulls, there's hieroglyphics, there's dust and sand everywhere. Some of the, the stone is broken. But at the far end, you can see that the, the, the crypt continues and it leads into another room. Um, but yeah, you see this long hallway and you actually see that there's some bones just kind of lying in the sand on the floor. So, this is, it's probably about uh, double far down the hallway. So, if you dashed twice, you would, you would essentially get to the back side. Where, where were the, where were the, where were the uh, skeletons at? They're just down on the floor. Okay. All right. Um... <laughs> So four normal moves plus action. Is that correct? To get um, all the way down the hallway. Yeah. If you took an action every time or if you just dashed, yeah. Got it, got it. Thank you. Uh, um, I'm going to investigate the, the skeletons, I guess. I don't know. Perception roll. Yeah. Observe. Or perception roll. Observe the the half of the uh, tomb that we are in, I guess, because okay. I, I don't think I can yeah. perceive anything special about anywhere else. So. so, yeah, you're looking at skeletons? Yeah, I'm just, um, I, I don't know, in ICRPG, I don't know, they don't really do, like, perception rolls, but I'm just kind of observing the half of the tomb that we are in to see if I notice anything particular... Like Yep. A, yeah. a base any perception check in that sense where you're investigating um, can either be an intelligence or a wisdom. Uh, pre okay. Basic perception it would be wisdom because you're kind of like looking around, getting a sense of what draws my eye, what do I see. Yeah. That's a wisdom. Or it's like I'm going to meticulously study this sucker to learn what it exactly it is. That's going to be intelligence. So this sounds like yeah, a wisdom. Do... Yes. Okay. Give me a wisdom check. Plus five, so. Nice. Okay. So. Fourteen. So the thing in particular that stands out to you as you look at the skeletons is one, they're dead for sure. Um, <laughs> and two, you actually like see hidden in the ribs, not hidden in the ribs, but kind of like clinking around or laying there, is you see these small metal rods. Uh pointed at one end a dart okay um 
I observe like things and I let the group know be like uh, watch your steps because I don't think people normally have metal spines in their bodies so um, just watch your steps I think this place might be trapped I share that wisdom with the group and, perfect do you want to move and then i do want to do my normal move yes okay yes i'm going to carefully move my way however far i can go all right um so what i need you to do is roll um, roll defense. Okay. Okay. So as you do, you step along and you carefully go about it, but all of a sudden these darts, you know, start firing from these columns out of these skulls um, on the right, and they're firing, firing across. Um, so none of them, none of them are able to hit you. Um, All right. but you're you're kind of now stuck between you know assuming more dark traps and you know the ones you've already yeah. passed yeah so basically the group sees me as I'm walking down because I've got so I'm, I'm essentially carrying right now because I don't know how to figure out how to, to work it out carrying like three shields Mm -hmm. I have one on my back, and I've got two on my arms, and I'm just standing there in the middle, like this. Nice. Like, with my arms curled up and just like, doo -doo 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 -doo, all the darts smacking into my shield. Very nice. As I'm turtling up. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Nice. Elon. Muted. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you now. You can hear me. Okay. <laughs> um, so... I was trying to look it up, but I haven't gotten it. I can't remember. Uh, does an adventure pack include, like, am I carrying water, or is that a separate item? I can't remember. I, I would say you probably have some water. Okay, so um, what I'd like to do is, um, is pour uh, some water on the ground to see if, um, if I can um, uh, detect any... Um, you know where it would basically seep into like uh, um, like a certain tile to see if there's any pressure points I can identify on the ground before moving forward. Okay, give me give me a wisdom or an intelligence check with that. Okay. Either way, it's just a straight roll, so roll. It's just Ooh. an eight. Okay. So you think it might you you think it might work actually like they start pooling up and you're waiting to see if the water starts seeping in, um, you're just not it hasn't like confirmed your thoughts yet. So if someone wants to help you and watch with you, we can you roll again for that at easy, or we can wait to your next turn and then it will be easy again. Or you okay. can just go I'll, out there. I let everyone. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna move forward, but I am gonna be sure to share with the group you know, what what I'm doing, what my intent is. You know, okay. Pouring the water to see if I can identify a trigger for a trap. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. That brings us to Balo. Okay, I, I think Bala would want to help him then after seeing that. Okay. Would so that give, work then? Yeah, give me an easy wisdom or intelligence roll. Let's do wisdom here. Oh, golly. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing well. <laughs> hero, hero. Oh. Oh yeah, can I do that? Yeah, let me yeah. use that. Let me try sure. that. Yeah, you can re-roll or add a d12. Ooh. I have to hit nine. I had five yep. with my modifier. 
Let me add the D12. I don't know if this might be a, a good idea or a bad idea. <laughs> uh, it should be. An, it should be. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Nice. Okay. Good job. All right. So as you guys watch, you know, Elon is sitting there staring at the water, waiting it for do something to do something. You come over and watch as well, and you get frustrated for a moment and like stamp your foot, and then some of the sand shifts, and then you see the the water like pool down. Um, pull down and disappear it beneath the stone you so you can tell that there are areas um specifically kind of these little square tiles and whatever so what's going to happen with that benefit is now anybody who's crossing this room can either roll defense or they can roll dex okay. okay excellent All right. Can, uh, a side question. Yeah. When you roll defense, how does that work again? So whatever your defense bonus is, so Balo, you have a sixteen. Yep. That means you have a plus six to your defense. I, okay. Okay. So yeah, you'd roll. So a D20. use that. Twenty. Yep. Okay. D twenty plus plus six. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Do you want to move? Sure, I'll, I'll walk up using that knowledge here and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, so you join Aniram where he's at, and then uh, yeah, roll defense or dex. As... Do defense because that is higher, plus six, so ten. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so the two things are going to happen. One. You take four damage from the the darts. Ooh, okay. Now I I also need you to roll a Constitution save, which is right. con, just roll con against the target. Okay, it's plus two. Perfect. Oh, so there we go. Okay. Nothing else happens. Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> as as Balo. Comes up to an iron and iron's like, I, you're making us look bad. Especially <laughs> in our face. <laughs> it can only, it can only get better from here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. That brings us to Snark. You've witnessed all of this. It was dangerous, so I'm glad you're glad they're go they went first. But it's your turn now. Okay. Um, question. Mm -hmm. uh, in Snark, watching his poor dwarven compatriots get pincushioned, uh, was he able to n note the uh, level at which the darts were fired? Um, so they're kind of all over the place because essentially all of these skulls in the wall, if you see on the, okay. on the map... So there, there's there's no you said from the columns earlier. So I was since the columns look in like they're up on a, a a plinth or a pedestal. I was hoping that there would be now knowing uh, a way to to crouch and crawl and kind of bear crawl your way underneath them, especially if you are what, a what I'm willing to do. Goblin. What I'm willing to do is if you want to crawl, you can only move. Uh, you can you know it's going to take you longer, but it would make it easy. So instead of four turns, I'll make it say like six turns. I understand, but if I but if I dash, it would be, just be a standard target twelve. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm a little. I'm nimble, and I've got plus four dex, so I will uh, dash and get halfway down. Perfect. Woo, Geronimo. Okay. Yep, you bit. make it just fine, and you're able to dodge as it, and you get you get a little further ahead than Balo and uh, about halfway. Balo and an Irem. Cool. Um, I'll put a charge in my ring. Nice. Okay. Um, ah, uh, can I put one more in on that six? Um. With wild power. I'm fine either. Yeah, way. Well, I was gonna say there's still a limit on the number. 
of right I six is sixty six. Is that it? Yes, correct. There's yeah. still sixty six. I only have one in right now. So yeah, I six I, and I one is two. I think it's fine. Let me add one more. Okay, thank you. Yep. Nine total. Perfect. All right. Time. The, this thing is going to drop from two to one. Okay. What we're going to do here is if it's a uh, skull, it's going to be these crabs are targeting the group that's up ahead. If it's a blank, they're targeting uh, Elin and Benny. All right. So these guys, as you're standing there, all of a sudden crawl out from the cracks and start shuffling towards you. Okay. I will note that if you spend your time harassing these crabs, your roll, whatever it is, will be hard because you're distracted attacking them versus dodging and ducking uh, the, the darts. Yeah. Okay. That brings us back to Aniram. All right. Um, I am... I'm going to look at Baloo, Baloo, ba, is it Baloo or Baloo? It's Balo. Balo. Balo, okay. So I'm a, I look at Balo, Balo, I'm like, are you good? And then I'm going to kind of raise my shields, and I'm just going to roll defense and just sprint down the hallway. Is there a way that I can delay my action to when Balo goes so that we can go together? Or is that... Um, you could. So can... Narratively, I would say you could go together. Um, if you want to, if you want to kind of give up your your placement in the initiative order, I'm fine with that. But we just permanently kind of move you down one. Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted. I just want to do it to where I can possibly protect Balo as we run down the hallway. Do you so... have an ability for that? Just for clarity no sake? i don't okay no, so, like defense, it wouldn't really matter then okay yeah so it would be one of those it's one of those ones where you can try to defend yourself and we can maybe um make it easy for this okay. for this one but i will i would ask you to to bump your initiative down one sacrificing okay. your placement i will i will sacrifice my placement to make the Roll easy for Balo, I guess. Okay. Okay. Nice. So, so, so then let's jump over before we make Balo roll. gives a thumbs up. He goes, yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Elin, as they, they coordinate themselves, the two Dwarven brothers in from another mother's, uh, are you ready to go? Yeah. So... Um, before I step forward, I turn to Benny and I say, remember, don't touch anything. Just move <laughs> forward cautiously. There are darts and, and the then, things that are causing the darts are on the ground. How can I not touch them? Will you carry me? Well, it, no, but if a dart touches you, it's okay. <laughs> but the things that are launching the darts are on the ground. Unless you carry me, I, I have to touch the ground. Good luck. And I move forward, and I'm going to roll uh, <laughs> defense. So it's a plus... He says the bonus, right? So it's a plus six for me. Yes. All right. You get all the way up to snark. As they... Wish, whis, uh, whistle past, leaving Benny behind. <laughs> Benny. <laughs> okay, so that was a dash. That was your full action. Um, let's move on to Aniram and Balo. Let's roll at the same time. I'm assuming you're both going together. Yes. Yep. Yep. Agreed. 
okay. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, so you guys you guys do make it. You guys are dashing and you guys get pretty far. You're essentially almost all the way there. Um and but Aniram, unfortunately as you are ducking and weaving, protecting Bala was admirable, but it did leave you a little bit more exposed. So give me um you take one damage. Okay. Okay. And you're going to have to roll a hard constitution save because of that one. All right. Constitution is a plus. Plus two. Okay. Well, nice. Well, nice. Okay. You take an additional one point of, da of poison damage. Okay. That could have been way worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, just looks over and says, thank you, brother. Yeah, I look down in my, I look down in my, uh, like, in my ribs and the side. I'm like, ah, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> As I pull a dart out of my side, out of my ribs, so... <laughs> Okay. Right. Bala looks down and pulls the dirt out of his ribs too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snark. Geronimo. <laughs> and you did it. Excellent. You get all the way to the far end. You're ready to move on. And I'll put a charge in. And so okay. that's my turn. Very nice. All right, now it's Benny's turn. He's finally brave enough, as well as these crabs are going to take an action. And we're now going to roll a d6. So one, two is this group at the far end. Three, four is Elon, and five, six is Benny. Ah, oh, suck. Or Benny. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, this is the last time they'll show up. Okay. So uh, let's roll for... Um, let's take care of this crab first who's moving across to Elin. All right, Elin. They are going to roll um, an easy check to get under your armor. And they do. <laughs> okay. So they start crawling up your leg, under your plate mail, and everything like that, and you just start feeling them biting. Okay. How this works is they're going to roll a D4 for damage. Okay. And then until someone makes a successful intelligence check to essentially, like, pull them out from under your skin... They are exactly like the mummy scarabs. Um, they're going to roll a d4 this round. Next round, they're going to roll a d6. Next round, they're going to roll a d8, a d10, oh. d12, d20 as they crawl so under you your skin. Yeah. Okay. So, two damage. We look. The, the rest of the group looks back and sees. <laughs> He's feeling like the scarabs just like crawling in. And we're like, get over here! <laughs> As he's. Ah! Okay. He still gets his his move, right? Yeah, he'll still get his move. That was just their attack, and Benny daintily, easily screaming catches up to to Elon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it for for that. So we'll turn it back to Elon, who is dealing with crabs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so Elon doesn't trust Benny 
if it's not obvious already. So, <laughs> um, I, I'm just gonna look at him and then just dash for my fellow adventurers up ahead. Okay. Uh, unless there, there's nothing. I, well, actually, maybe I should pause. Is there anything I can do? I can do in regards to the scarabs, other than get help. So you can like you real you, help, you, not Benny. You can t attempt to make the intelligence roll to get rid of the crabs, but then your movement roll is going to be hard. If you get to us, we should we should have enough chances to help you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for you know m more people to help than trying to do it myself with Benny at my side. So, <laughs> um, I'm I'm dashing forward and okay. uh, I'll do defense. So my defense, it's a plus six, so I, I got 12. You make it. Nice. You join up with the rest of the crew, and they're, like, looking at you, like, what's what's going on? And, you know, you can see so, little bumps under your skin crawling around. Yeah, so I, I the crabs, they, they got in my armor. They're, they're, they're on me. They're, they're, they're burrowing into me. Help. All right, um, and I run dry wretches a little bit from hearing how they're burrowing <laughs> into his skin, and he's like, like <laughs> it goes over and moves and tries to get the uh, get the scarabs out of his skin. Nice. So, and that is a straight roll. So, nope. I am ineffective because it's so gross. I'm basically, <laughs> Elon's basically trying to avoid getting thrown up on right now. <laughs> Does no one care uh, about Benny? <laughs> no! <laughs> um, um, so, okay, so I still have movement, but yeah. this doesn't look any good, so I will forfeit that movement. And, uh, it is now Bob's turn. Yeah. We'll say both, all everyone, all of you, except you know, as Bala spends his last movement to get to the end, whatever. Um, you're there at the back, so yeah, Bala, you can take an action, and if you want to move, you could move into the next room technically. The same for you and Iram, but if you're there, okay, I'm. Gonna... Okay, I'm gonna try and help with the crabs. Okay. <laughs> Let me, let me roll. And that that was int you said. Yes. This is just straight too. So hopefully. Oh, no. so close. <laughs> the armor is getting in the way, but you're you're getting close. Little fingers can't get in there, and then I kind of dry heave too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just want to hang out instead of moving on, just to see if we can. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You know what the problem is? This elven skin is just too smooth. <laughs> did you did you only miss by one? Yes. So that a hero would get him over. He only needs to do a twelve, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I don't have a coin. I will give you my coin. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. Nice. So no point in letting that go to waste because that was <laughs> eleven. Yeah. 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 So you, you retch, and then you realize, you know, if you could just jab your dagger in there, and you just cut it and pop it out. Power through it. <laughs> okay. All right, Snark. That leaves you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so we just have little Benny sitting and waiting. Um... May I withhold my action until Benny moves? Uh, sure. So we'll roll for Benny real quick, who has rolled 18s and 19s the entire time, uh, and a 20. He is a boss. <sighs> these these crabs come up. All right. Uh, Snark, you wanted to use your action? Okay, then if everybody is okay, which I think they are. Yeah. 
Um, oh, uh, yes. Okay. If everybody is okay and nobody has crabs and we are all prepared. And I, as I look down the hallway, uh, we're at the end and I look in this direction. It's open in that direction. Is yes. that correct? Or yes. is it? Yep. I will go ahead and uh, shoot the scarabs. Head that way and put one last charge in my ring. I am full up at 21. Very nice. Okay. So we'll just start everybody in this next room. The crabs are still coming, just so you know. Uh, but you enter into the main inner sanctum of this crypt. More innately carved, you see there's a throne with a skeleton. You see several mummified statues standing next to them. You see a pedestal with this kind of uh, hovering, rotating crystal. Um, and so let's start with um, start with Elin. So coming into the room and seeing that crystal, I uh, I grab Benny and I pull him over and I say, "Don't even think about it." What? We're here. We, we're here to collect treasure. What am I supposed yes, to do? But not to die. <laughs> then why did we even come here? We can get treasure alive. Don't be a fool. Um, <sighs> and with that, uh, hmm, it. I, I'm. I guess I'm not. F uh, not familiar. Uh, I have a war hammer. Is the is the handle long enough that I could kind of drag the hammer in front of me, almost like a, what a blind man would do with his walking stick? Yeah, you could. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to, I'm kind of going to try to drag it ahead of me as, as much as possible, um, and, uh, slowly move ahead. Okay. So not a, not a, not a dash. I'm going to try slow, <laughs> see if, the, and I'm going to go toward the pedestal. Okay. You get there safely. Okay, and is there anything else I can... Is, that was just uh, the one move? I have yep. an action still? Yep, you still have an action. You see, you're standing there at the pedestal. The, the architecture of the building has it so that light is, you know, majestically shining on this crystal. You see, you look up and you see the skeletons sitting on the throne as well, bathed in light. Um, you see the skeleton is okay. holding something as well. So I, I'd, I'd like to look at the pedestal itself to see if there's any markings or anything that I could um, identify as a possible uh, like mechanism. Okay, give me, uh, give me a wisdom check, wisdom or intelligence, your choice. Uh, both the same to me, and yeah, no dice. No dice. That's okay. Good effort. All right, that brings us to a Nyrum. I'm our, I'm armoring back up because not being in my golem suit feels weird after being <laughs> pin cushioned. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and armor back up. Okay. Nice. So that is success. <clears throat> so now I'm back into my golem suit. Um, since it's using a lot of the stone from the structure, uh, it definitely the motifs of the stone are mimicking this, uh, the temple a little bit. And so very nice. That's, and then I am going to lumber over to Elin. Okay. Excellent. So you're there standing by the pedestal again, looking at this, this mm. crystal gem. Hovering in the in the light, right? Um, yeah, and then I see. I look up at the skeleton, also, and 
the book looks interesting because it's very similar to my experience with uh, finding my milestones, basically finding a book in a skeleton. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> okay. Um, that brings us to Balo. Sweet. I think I'm going to just, I'm going to move up these guys, hang out here. Because you said the crab is still coming up, right? Mm-hmm. It is. How terrifying. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up there and hang out next to my, my big friend now. Um, and I like to do a recovery move just to try and get some HP back. Okay. That's D20 plus con, right? Yep. Yes. Okay, and then get your... Get one plus co your con bonus back. Three more back. Okay, perfect. Nice. Perfect, perfect. And that'll end with... Take a nice sigh. Feel a little bit better. Okay. Um, then uh, now it's up to Snark. Uh, Snark uh, would like to skip up with his compatriots and try to be within near distance to observe the throne and the skeleton sitting on it with the object, but also remain within near distance of the entrance, if I can find a happy middle ground. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, can I just do a whiz check to see what that is on the skeleton's lap? Sure. Give a, just give me a whiz check. Nice. Bazinga. So you see yeah. that it's a ornately carved stone tablet with hieroglyphics all over it. Okay, that's my turn. Okay. So Benny, Benny kind of like is looking around, his hands behind his back. He kind of like wanders up here you know kind of staying away from elon but he turns around as he gets the tap he's like can i touch this <laughs> no what? can you read it no not without touching it I, well I, yes i can but i can't i, I, I don't really read hieroglyphics i'm, I'm more of you know, gold and treasure and gems this this history stuff is not not really my thing but i figured this if it was trapped why would it be on this guy's lap well he is dead yeah but who who holds a who holds a stone tablet after they get killed by a trap just it just it just you guys are making no sense to me <laughs> All right, I'll wait. He folds his arm and just kind of like pouts. Mm. Good, Benny. <laughs> okay, timer drops to one. Back to Elon. All right, and with that, I'm going to also approach, come alongside Benny, my friend of me. And uh, without moving the tablet, I, I tried to make observations, uh, see if I can um, decipher anything from the tablet itself, the glyphs, or uh, also just see, again, if there's any, any type of mechanism, anything that would indicate that moving it is um, harmful. Okay. So this is what you see. Oh, nice. So you see this general story kind of hieroglyphics written around. Um, obviously the most, the biggest portion of it is this person who seems like they're consulting with this cube. Hmm. All right. Um, with 
with that being seen, I am I am one of the so I don't know how that plays out. Will play into this on my turn. But well, you get to decide. Was there anything no else, fault. Elon, that you wanted to do? Sorry. Um. Yeah, having looked at the tablet, um, I go ahead and um, and and take it up, like you know, lift it up. Okay. So as you pick it up, um, as you pick it up and put it into your kind of your hands or whatever, this this statue over here shifts a little bit and a little kind of platform beneath the, the the tablet shifts and uh this this column opens up and you can see there's a sliver of light coming out of it into a hidden room look it wasn't trapped <laughs> it, it was it was the key to the, to to another room i thought you told him not to touch it <laughs> okay. All right. A Nyrum. All right. Um. God, I kind of want to grab that crystal, but maybe not. So you, you said you are one of Full the marked. Bunny. <laughs> yes, I am one of the mark. When the when the sh when the statue moved away, it, it, was it a is it, is it just like a stone doorway or something like that? Yeah, so or like the, was the statue the door? So the statue swung open a little bit, so you could continue swinging it open. Okay, so, sort of. Like, I'm just yeah. trying to figure out how how if it was only concealed or if it's the kind of door that if it closes is going to trap us someplace you never know so the sta the statue is essentially the door so if it swung back shut that would be a closed door okay that, that okay that's that that's what i thought so more than just concealment so it yeah. might be worth it to jam it open okay mm -hmm. All right. oh okay um I, yes, I am one of the mark. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this crystal. Okay. All right. So you you reach out, you reach out and and you grab, grab the crystal. And you hold on to it, and you can see that there's runes all over it. Yeah. Okay. You've actually acquired a spell with that crystal. As long as you have that crystal, you have this spell. Okay. All right. And I'm dropping the chat in the chat this exact details, yeah. but it is the spell prophecy. Okay. You can cast it. And if a timer is currently present, you can glean its meaning. Nice. All right. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> and then I'm going to so, and then I'm going uh to the. And I'm waiting for waiting for the group. So you're going to the door? Yeah. Okay. Well is, I will is grabbing, is grabbing was is grabbing grabbing the crystal was my action. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What I will tell you though is when you kind of peek through the corner, you open the door a little bit. Uh huh. This is what you see. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> Okay, Balo, you've witnessed, they've taken the gem, they've taken the tablet, 
the door is open and you can hear an Iram, whoa, you know. <laughs> I think I'm going to make my way over towards the door as well. And along the way, I like to just take a gander, a general look to see if there's anything else of interest in this room. Okay. What would that be a role for? Uh, uh, just If you want to use intelligence to kind of academically learn about the room, or wisdom to just percept to perceive what catches your eye. Let's do, let's do the wisdom. Uh, nah, nope, nope. Uh, sorry, but you're over there and you can yeah. see the treasure as well. Glance around as I'm looking and I'll, I will gasp in awe as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, the... <laughs> Very nice. Uh, and Snark? Uh, Snark is going to join the dwarves, but as he goes through the door... As, uh, every, they're through the door, correct? Yeah, they're like right on the on the the, the precipice. The, the, okay. I, I, I join them in whatever capacity with my move, and the only thing that I'm going to do is as we uh, go through the doorway itself, Mm -hmm. I am going to uh, wedge my fire keg in the doorway, okay. so that it does, so that it can't close. Okay. That's my turn. Perfect. All right. So the uh, the timer drops to zero, and our little buddy shows up. Mm -hmm. You can hear him chittering across the stone floor. He's not anywhere close to anybody, but he's there. And and then Benny kind of looks to you, Elon, and he's like, "They found they found treasure." So excited, but he looks to Elon real quick and, and he's like, "Now that we know that it's not trapped, can I look at it?" Sure, go ahead and look, but don't touch. Can I hold it? It's, it's not trapped. Yeah, you can touch it, Benny. Okay. So he, he accepts he accepts the tablet and he's like ooing and aahing over it. Because he, he kind of heard Aniram talk about, maybe he mentioned it a little bit and he's kind of like intrigued by the story. You know. That I could, that I could tell. Not the name. It starts with an M. It's a language. Mid. Oh. No. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 see very a lot of similarities between those glyphs that you're talking about in Aniram and uh -huh. this tablet. So they're clearly connected. Okay. All right. And then okay. I I. Oh, go ahead. No. Yeah. So yeah, Benny's just gonna hold on to it and just kind of like excitedly look at it. Um, okay, and that's it. So Elon, you want to go join them at the treasure? Yeah. So I want to join um, over here by the doorway, and then is it safe to um, to assume that I might have like an iron spike in my pack? I think so. Does any? No, that makes sense to me. I think the adventurers pack does have iron spike. I have to double check though. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Okay, as long as you think it makes sense. So I take one of the iron spikes and uh, use my hammer and and uh, just hammer the spike underneath the uh, statue doorway to keep it open for us. Okay. And uh, I I peer in the room, but I'm also keeping an eye on Benny. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, so you don't go in the room. No, currently I'm just at the doorway, so I can keep an eye on Benny until he follows. Okay. Okay, that brings us to Aniram. All right. Um, I am going to... I look at the group. I look at, back at Benny. 
and I tell Benny like, "Is this this is what you're here for, right?" And I kind of gesture to the open room. I'm going to go in to the room. Mm-hmm. Just lumber through the room. Okay. And I think for my turn, I'm going to try. So many choices. Do I cast prophecy, or do I look for missive? Missive is the language that is familiar to. Uh huh. But more of a feel. So I think I'm going to cast. I'm going to try casting prophecy as the new spell. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nice. Nice. So, as I step into the room. Uh, I'm I'm holding on to this that cube, and I just get a precognition of what what to expect in this room. Yeah. And so go ahead, so, Kane. So, yeah. So you look you look into the gemstone, and it swirls on the inside, and all of a sudden, it's like a third person view of of the room of the, of the space, and you see yourself, you see the others, and um, you see them pocketing, pocketing treasure, but they, you also see them screaming, or at least yelling, um, as waves of crabs surround you. So, the timer itself is how long crabs will be showing up? How long until crabs will be showing up? No, how long crabs will be showing up. Uh, okay, how many rounds they're going to... Yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Thank you. Also, is it the same... Like, you described it as, like, a bunch of crabs? So, up until this point, I thought, like, we can manage the crabs, but is it to a... Is it so many crabs that I feel like, like, hey, that is a dangerous, dangerous temptation or a dangerous where more than what we've been encountering so far? Yes. You you see uh, more crabs, like, coming through right. than, than before. All right. Um, then I'm going to share that information with the group that we do not have time to dilly dally in here we cannot have have our way with the treasure in here and we cannot claim it as our own unless you wish to be buried grab what you can and run yeah okay and that is my turn okay that brings us to Balo. There is a plentiful bounty of treasure standing before you, but Aniram is giving you this cautionary warning based off the images of a recently acquired gem. He's pretty confident about it, though. All right, he, he trusts him, and he, he, t he hesitates for a second, thinking it over, because... I mean, that's, that's part of his life, is this is what he wants. Um, he thinks about it, um, and he's going to wait for what the rest of the group's going to do, but because he's standing on the precipice, he's going to turn around and take a shot at that crab coming from the other direction. Mm -hmm. Just to get that one off their back, hopefully. Okay, so you're heading back to the one crab that's coming in? Ooh, ooh. yeah, and that doesn't help. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean... man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So he just kind of glances and just takes a pop shot and misses. <laughs> yep. Okay. We're also gonna add a fo a one to that timer. Oh, no. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you want to? Did you want to move anywhere? Um, I think I'm going to stay right there and then wait to see what everyone else does. Okay. 
All right. Um, that brings us to Snark. Clearly, you're amongst um, treasure hunters who aren't in love with treasure. It is true. Um, but so no one has any treasure yet. Is that correct? That is correct. No, yeah. There's, but there is a, a room full of it. And get in there and get some. Fascinating. Um, standing in the doorway, can I see the uh? There, there's there's one crab advancing. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, I would like to cast Arn's Hex on it. Okay. And uh, that is going to rot it D8 per turn for the next D4 turns. Mm -hmm. But it, yeah. And it's enough that so you that, just kind that, of ca cast the spell and it just crumbles into dust. Okay. That, that's my uh, that's my action. Okay. All right. Hey, are, you, are you moving in with me, or are you still staying at the door? I'm I'm gonna watch our backs. I figure oh. if I if I, I figure where I'm staying in the doorway, hopefully I can grab a juicy gem or two on the way out. <laughs> All right. I. Okay. So as you stand in there from the ceiling, <laughs> more more crabs start pouring out. They're still at the ceiling. It will take them a, a turn to get down. But you can hear the loud chittering. Um coming coming down from the ceiling. So you have a final turn before they get to the floor to move into the room and grab any treasure. But they are there and they'll be continually showing up for the next four rounds. Um as as the the crabs show up and they and you guys indicate it, Benny books it. Oh and he And he has the he has the tablet, doesn't he? He does. He does. So now you have a choice. You have this plethora of treasure with the crabs coming in, you have this, this is your one shot at the treasure. And then you have Benny with the tablet. So, Elon, choices must be made. You came all this way for treasure, for investigation. Well, um... That's just a quick question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We still see Benny from the doorway, or did he already make it into like the next hallway? Yeah, he's he's like he ducked into the corner. He just like lost you. Just lost sight of him as he ducks. Okay, in. You, hear, right. you start hearing the whistling of of the darts. <laughs> hey, just to get an idea where he is location. Okay, he's quick for a small folk. Mm -hmm. So, um. I guess, sorry, if I'm, I'm going to ask the question. So, um, if I, I mean, I, I guess I have two things thinking. One is I wanted to look at the room, not necessarily kind of go in, but just from my vantage point, I was thinking, is there anything that stands out in this room? You know, kind of like one of these things is not like the other. Mm -hmm. um, or if I do that, does would that, would that prevent me from dashing for Benny? I guess is no because um you would if you to do a, like a full dash mm -hmm. you know you'd have to spend your turn 
your full turn, so no action. You could still run after him if you investigate it, and I could tell you I could tell you a couple things that you see if you wanted to do that. But yeah, you wouldn't be able to do the full dash. So. And um, and the, uh, investigation that would be like intelligence, right? Intelligence or wisdom. They're both just uh, unmodified for me. Um, hopefully my my fellow party members are, aren't upset, but I'm just going to... I'm going to keep role-playing like I have been, which is um, I have a, kind of a distaste for Benny, so I see him book it, and I feel responsible with him having the tablet, so I, I just turn and, and dash for him. Benny! <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Okay. Go get him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. Hey, if you don't have a hero coin, take a hero coin for keeping and keeping that role play going. Nice. Okay, Aniram. All right. Well, I'm in the room. I'm I'm grabbing loot. All right. Uh, give so. me give me a D100 roll. D100 roll. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a question. Do you want to stick with forty two, or do you want to half it? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it. Okay. So you find I'm dropping these into the chat. You find this pouch. Inside, you look these little pistols, these little little waif, uh, slivers. You find a bag of saffron. It's a treasure. It takes one slot, but if you add it, um, it's a one. So it's one one use. Um, you can double the effect of any food item. Okay. Nice. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stay in here. Okay. And help, you know, maybe get another piece, maybe help my friends protect them when they come in and get some. Okay. So. Yeah, and you're still golemed up, so you're. Yes. Yeah. I, oh, I got some damage, and that's. That is my turn. Okay, perfect. All right, Balo. The other door for the party. Okay, Not nice. Going. My eyes, my my eyes have lit up now with all of the awesomeness in here. Um, I, am I close enough to grab anything where I am at, or do I got to make my way in? You got to move grab. in. You got to. Okay, all right, in. we got to do it. Come on down next to my friend. Okay. I'll, I'll swipe some good some goodness. Okay, give me a D D one hundred. How do you do that with these dice? Double, double click, click, double click ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, nice. Okay. Do you? Um, okay. I only my my table only goes up to fifty five. I haven't finished my hundred table, um, so we're gonna half it. Uh, you can you can either half it. You can either half it or take the the very top slot in my uh, the 55 so f that would be 58 would be 29 so do you want 29 or 55 let's go big let's go 55 55 nice. okay you find um, a, a tube of this it's a huge tube but you open it up and you find inside a painting Ooh, okay nice it's treasure it takes five slots though whoa oh. but yeah, just okay yeah. but I mean five slots of the smuggled painting I mean this is it could be big yeah it could be big okay I tuck it behind my back strap mm-hmm <laughs> Big smile on my face. <laughs> nice. nice. Okay, then finally, Snark. 
Geronimo. <laughs> okay, do you want to take the 43 or do you want to half it for 20, let's say 27? I'll stand pat, please. All right, 43. You find some ceramic uh, canopic jars. Very appropriate. They take two slots. Which I have exactly two slots. And they're holding <laughs> the stomach, intestines, lungs, and liver of a long go monarch. Why not? <laughs> With the archaeological significance. These belong in a museum. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So now these guys are going to move closer surrounding you and they're going to roll in just a second as one two three four five spawn in. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to roll a d6, okay, and it's going to be 1, 2 for Snark, 3, 4 for Balo, 5, 6 for uh, Aniram. Question. Gonna, yes? Ebony Hood? Oh, yes. Good question. They are not going to do it there. So it's 1, 2, 3 for Aniram, uh, for, for Balo, and 4, 5, 6 for uh, uh, Balu and Aniram. So yeah, so one, so that's Balo, that's an Iram, that's an Iram, that's Balo, that's an Iram. Does that, yeah, that, does that, did I roll five or six? Yeah, I rolled six. So I got, oh, I rolled five. Four, oh, crap. four on oh. an Iram. <laughs> and two on Balo. Okay. So here's their attack rolls. Let's do Balo. This is just against your defense. One, right. two. Nothing. Fingers crossed, yes. Okay, nice. here's four nice. rolls. Woo. Four rolls against Aniram. One, two, three, four. Okay, also a quick question. Yeah. I have the spike shield equipped, and it on every missed attack, I get to do 1d6 weapon damage without any modifier. Okay, so I'm just going to ask this, and I'm going to leave this to you. Uh -huh. While you are golemed up, is your shield out? It's the the shield is all part of the armor. Okay, it, that the, the shield is. So I don't know how they. As long as it's equipped, you can use it. So yeah. that's why I have all my stuff equipped. My two iron shields, I'm. They're kind of like the carapace of my chest mm. and my back. And then the spike shield is kind of in the fore, in, integrated into the forearm of the armor. Nice. Okay. Just wanted to check. So you yeah. roll D6? Yes, yeah, just, a, just a D6 unmodified uh, for any missed attack. Okay, no worries. They all die because they're just one, yeah. one shots. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so I, as they crawl up my goal, my like swing around my arm and smashing them as they climb up my body. Okay. And you can see you can see Benny's pretty much almost made it through. Okay. That brings us to Elon. You turn the corner and yeah, you see you see Benny's pretty much crossed it you hear you still hear the whistling as he does and he's holding the tablet and running yeah so i i'm i'm uh <laughs> I, I don't know i don't think rage is a thing in this game but i'm <laughs> i'm just really pissed so i'm <laughs> i'm chasing after him okay then hey okay give me a dex or a defense as you cross and defense uh, so that's a plus six. That's oh. enough. 
Nicely done. Yeah, your your elven legs are are catching up. So if you keep if you keep this up, um, you'll you'll catch up. Okay. So, um, hey, sorry to interrupt. I've I've got a work. Oh yeah. I've got work calling me, and they're saying that I need to call them back. Okay. Um, so I need to drop for just a well, hopefully just a minute. Yeah, totally fine. Sorry about that. We're almost done. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe I can. H how long do you think I could see if um, I can just, hold I'm, up for? I'm guessing about three or four more rounds. But yeah, you go ahead and call him. It's okay. Okay. Thanks. Sorry. No, yeah, no, you're good. Okay. That brings us back to you guys. So, Anirum. Um, my action is going to be. I'm going to try to grab another piece of loot. Okay. And then. All right. I'm going to half this one. Okay, so that's going to be 28. You find. You find a silkworm staff. Okay. What does that mean? It means that you find a staff that's two slots, it's hollow, and it's filled with 30 dormant silkworms. Ooh. All right. Um, I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to hand... Does anybody have any inventory room that I can hand you something? I'm currently full with the jars. All right. Um, I've right. got zero left. Zero left? Drop All something. Right. Yeah, but gonna... I can also... I can also ditch something if necessary. Um, I am going to dr I'm going to ditch the um, cast jungle maps that I've been holding on to. Okay. And so I'm going to ditch that so that I have room for the staff. And then I'm splitting out of here. Perfect. All right. Come on, guys. Go. Grab something and go. All right, that brings us to Balo. I, th I think I'm going to follow suit. Uh, well, let me think here for a sec. Or maybe I'm looking at my slots. Or I'm I'm wearing my armor, right? So that doesn't count. So your armor. So you have ten slots of equipped and ten slots of carry. Okay. Oh, I was thinking of it wrong. Okay. So early morning brain fog. Okay. Um. <laughs> um yeah. I'm gonna look and for treasure. Armor, I'm gonna do the same thing. does count. Yeah, it does. I still have room. That I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry. Um. I'm gonna grab some treasure and then also book it too. Okay. <laughs> That. Right. <laughs> do you want 54 or do you want 20 we'll say 29 let's, just, let's, let's do the 29 let's do that all right you find very appropriately a dwarven rug nice it's inlaid it's inlaid with fibers of gold and silver as you'd expect from a dwarven rug but it takes sl three slots three slots okay ooh fancy eyes get even bigger than they were after finding the smuggled painting <laughs> <laughs> and then you're leaving I'm booking it yep <laughs> okay snark okay um, I w will do one more treasure roll okay All right, you want 54? Have, have, I'll have it to 47. Yep, 47. Uh, you also find another pouch of saffron for yourself. Mm. 
uh, which allows you to uh, double any food effect. So it's the same same thing that uh, okay. that they found earlier. I will. These crabs aren't that scary. I will dump my large magnet. Uh huh. Which will give me one more space. Nice. And uh, I guess I will take the bag of saffron. I will grab my fire keg on the way out the door and roll. Okay. That completes my turn. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, so we won't worry about these guys anymore. So you guys are all essentially booking it. Elon's gone. We're under there. We're going to simplify this down a little bit into because we're at the end of our time to essentially one rolls a piece. Um, okay, so for Elon, I'm going to hold off on Elon's turn. Okay, we're going to move. We're just going to say he's here and here. Okay, so for for Enirum, these guys are gone. What I need from Enirum is a one defense or dex check. We're just going to simplify this down to get out of the out of the the tomb as okay. everyone's booking it. So just give me one defense or dex check as you run across. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm still in my suit, so I'm gonna just blah, 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 run, run across. And you make it. Very nice. No damage. You just, you just pretty much ignore everything as it <laughs> happens. Okay, that brings us to uh, Balo. Okay, nice. I'm going to follow suit again. I'm just going to hold up my shield on one side, crossbow on the other, and just book it. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Four. Yay. Nice. <laughs> you make it. See so, yeah, this little dwarf moving down the hallway with his arms <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, snark. Uh, this is a uh, dex. Is that correct? Dex or defense. I'm going to use... This is going to be Dex. Ooh. Uh, okay. Uh, is that, nat 1 is just Nat 1. There's nothing I can do I to think modify you, I think we've had. I think we've allowed rolling hero coins. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hero my way out of that then. Nice. And I am plus uh, 4, which is not sufficient. However, uh, I will blow the ring which is plus 21 so it's a mod 28 <laughs> oh boy Whew. you just zip all the way across um yes yes i do so uh yes narrowly escaping doom <laughs> i'm with my friends very nice all right we'll see if elon is back i am back oh perfect <clears throat> we were just kind of simplifying things down because we're out of time a little bit but Benny has crossed this this chasm. Okay, we're simplifying it down to essentially just one rolls. Um, okay. So he's booking it. If you can make this, you'll be able to catch him at the entrance of the uh, of the tomb. But remember, it's a fifteen as you're sprinting. So give me a dex to just run and sprint, or however you wanna to narrate that that chase 19 Whew. I'm pissed <laughs> nice <laughs> nice and Benny's like screaming as he's like stay away from me <laughs> <laughs> so is it next Snark, next turn Snark I pitch up? you've you've essentially caught up and we're just gonna finish this at the entrance of the at the tomb okay cool all right. Sorry. No, you're good. But this brings us to Aniram, Balo, and Snark, who also have to make the jump. All right. Um, as I'm lumbering, as Aniram's lumbering through, he's going to cast Elemental Earth and use the 
temple ground to like basically launch himself uh, across the chasm. Okay. Uh, plus five, so nice. So you launches. Just... Yeah. Oh. And then I'll like a pillar of stone like, punches out of the ground on uh, underneath his foot and just launches him nice. across the chasm. Very nice. Very epic. That's awesome. If it wasn't the end of the game, you'd get another hero coin. But <laughs> okay, that brings us to Balo. Like Balo takes a deep breath, um, runs and leaps off, and right as he does, he closes his eyes and hopes for the best. <laughs> and Iram turns around and, and, and holds his arms out. I like it. <laughs> and I, I extend my arms, too. <laughs> for... Nope! <laughs> oh. uh, you can use a hero coin. Does anybody have it? A, you can use a hero coin if somebody has one. Oh, I, I don't have one. I don't have one. I do not have one. I think Elon has one. I'm just hanging around again. He wants to share it, but that's okay. Who uh, has one? I think Elon does, but that's okay. We're at the end, so. Sorry, I, I, I was distracted by work. Does somebody need help? Uh, yes. If you, if you want to share your hero coin, Balo tripped up. Again, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll give it up. Okay. So I think I had was it seven? So let me roll the. Add. There we go. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> Hands Very on good. the edge, and he slowly scurries up the edge. Nice. The deep sigh. Okay. I think all the hero coins are spent. So unfortunately, Snark, you're memorying your hero coins. It's going to come down to your roll. Uh, am I allowed to charge my ring before I jump? Yeah, I guess you could You could do that. Easy peasy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're going to get to, out to the entrance of this table, this, uh, this tomb, tomb, and Elon, I don't know what he does, but catches up to Benny. Okay, so I catch up to Benny. Um, I want to grab him and take the tablet away from him. It's like, no! No, that's... I came for that! <laughs> I don't care about the treasure. Mm. Do I... If... <laughs> So, um, am I able to? Is it a roll to pull it away from him? I'm no, just, you just I'm take a it. lot. Yeah. Okay. I'm larger and stronger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so no, I just, I just take it. And I say, this is what you were after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. They, they have my, they have my wife and kids. I, they, 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 they hired me. Well, not really hired me. They strong armed me to, to come and take, take the tablet, but I couldn't do it by myself. Uh, and so I was, I just gonna take it and and, and run, hoping the tre you, if the treasure you adventure is like treasure, so you take the treasure, have it, whatever, I don't care, but I, I just need that uh, that that tablet. Why didn't you just say so, you fool? What what am I supposed to say about that? Like, would you help me? I don't know. They they told me not to. Who is they? Uh, Who is they? He and he t he tells you that it was that it was uh, an Arden. An Arden from the Reaver Fords. Where? Yeah, as in the Arden, which the the evil family that is plotting against us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, where they, Where is Arden? Well, they. they you know they they came they came into the, you know my my home is, is is you know near you know on the greenway on near the border and and they they strong army Ooh. took my family and and they told me to come come here and and find it they knew that i was a, a, a bit you know i i knew of this place and and everything but but uh, <laughs> all right i tell i tell the rest of the group to be like we need to tell 
uh, Hatchet and all those guys who went on that mission because they already went on a mission to that Reaver Fords and things kind of got out of hand for them. And then we went back and things got out more out of hands. And now it looks like <laughs> the family, um, Benny's family is caught up in the Arden saga. So we should share that yes, when we Snark, get back to the keep. Yes, Snark was there. Yeah. And when, yes, you, my... when you share that, Snark asks, is, like, is, is this, do we know that this tablet is something we want to put in the hands of the Ardens? Maybe we can help Benny's family directly. Agreed. Mm. I'd rather help Benny than give this to Arden. If As they want I. it, there's a reason. Yeah. Yes. Benny, I do, think... you know, do you know where your family is being held? Uh, they, they took they took them from the Greenway and they they carried them off into the Deadlands. Uh, and Iron hangs his head a little bit. It's like the Deadlands, always the Deadlands. <laughs> Arc scratches his head. He says, "I've never been to the Deadlands." <laughs> but I they wanted nice. they they it's it's that thing, and he points to, to the cube. It's about right. it's about that you know it's about this. Yeah. Okay, uh, here Kane, can I do something cuz with using my elemental power in a stone, can I make a forgery to give to Benny to maybe buy him some time? Since oh. I have the tablet that I'm looking at, I'm also considered marked and I have ele elemental earth power, can I make a forgery on another piece of stone? to give to Benny to maybe buy him some time. <sighs> That's going to be really... Mm, I'll have to... We'd have to work on that one off afterwards okay. because that's you're dealing with the missive and I know I know Sterling has some, some details on that. So we're going to have okay. to review if that's possible. Okay. Yeah, I just... Just something maybe to... Um, yeah, to buy Benny some time so that he can take back a forgery to the Arden family okay. to maybe... He's, and he Benny's Benny's concerned. It's like if they find out, like. <laughs> Do you just want to say that the you are unsuccessful? Want... Would you prefer that? What? Um, I mean, I asked him if he would prefer to just go back and tell them that he was unsuccessful, or maybe come back with us to the keep and hide out there and let them assume that we all that you died. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I know, honestly, that's a dangerous. The that's want, that's the dangerous to do too, because I know there's a traitor somewhere, somewhere in gray. I know, but I don't know who it is. So if they see you there, that could be bad too. <sighs> do the Ardens want the tablet to get the crystal cube? I I don't know. I they just wanted it. They. It, um, were you to were you to bring back the tablet or the cube? The, the tablet. Hmm. Because if the tablet is only useful to get the cube, then the ta then the, ta the we could give we could give Benny the tablet. Wouldn't they have known that the tablet and the cube were together? I I don't know. Yeah. I don't think giving the tablet to Benny would be a good idea for him. Because it might be a... <laughs> yeah, the risk is very high. Um, I suggest to Benny to maybe, like, go hide out. Hide... Actually, I have I have some friends. Yeah, they're the Agnari, the Agnari Riders. Maybe if I send you to them, they might be able to, to uh, hide you. For a little while, until that's a good idea. Figure things out so that we uh, don't give you the thing, but Arden's don't do anything to your family. Maybe buy you some time. Okay, okay but what? What are you going to help find my family? Yes, I will. We will put out a. There's many, many adventurers. That we will do our best and find get your family rescued from the Arden. Oh, well, 
uh, or I, I might be able to be able to give you a fake to buy you more time until that time comes. But I will. We will do what we can to protect your family. Oh, and thank, the rest thank of your you. Time. That's a promise from all of us. Okay. Is there like a a place in time that you're supposed to meet up with them? Uh, soon, soon. They sent me on this way, and, and they threatened that if I didn't come back soon, they didn't say when, just soon. So I don't think we have much time. Okay. We'll send you. We'll send you to some allies for a little while, as long as we can, as long as we can save you or give you time, I guess, to so that we can figure things out. Without you just running there empty-handed. Oh, oh, okay. I, I, I think I can do that, but just, okay. just please hurry. And, end. <laughs>